We are now ready for another exciting presentation from Franco Morsino, Lead Vehicle Dynamics at Pagani Automobili, and Emanuele Colomba, responsible for vehicle dynamics and modeling for OEM customers at Pirelli Tire. They will discuss the collaborative efforts between Pagani and Pirelli in developing premium tires and reducing development time. Through advanced vehicle modeling and simulation systems, they successfully tested various tire specifications, minimizing physical components and vehicle test sessions while maximizing driving excitement. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks. Uh all of you for your presence here and the previous speakers for the presentation. So, uh, my name is Franco Morsino, I'm Vehicle Dynamics Lead for Pagani and together with Imalo Ale, we're going to be sharing with you what was a really recent project we have been working on, on the, the virtual type development of a uh, new spec of tires for one of our vehicles using all of the active systems on the car. So. We're going to try to make it quick, since we are closing to the coffee break, so just for yeah. all of you. Uh, just saying, what was uh, the challenge we were facing? Uh, what were the constraints that were on the middle between us and the target? Uh, how was the process? Was, was, what was the step-by-step -step that we followed on the road? And at the end, closing with the results we uh, achieved, thanks to the uh, methodology and the collaboration with Pirelli. So, just briefly, uh, for all of you to know what Pagani is, a small car manufacturer nearby here in northern Italy, in Modena. Uh, this year we're making the 25th anniversary of the company that has two family of products, Zonda and Waira. And now we are talking about the last one on the uh, line, that's Pagani Utopia. So, the company exists because of the uh, belief of a man, Horacio Pagani, that believe that art and science can work, work together hand by hand and create uh, beauty objects that can really uh, be extraordinary from the technical point of view. And uh, we aim to put together people, technology, and have the best uh, synergy and collaboration there to get uh, emotions for each of our customers while driving their cars. So that's our motivation, that's why we're here. And uh, so the challenge we were facing uh, with the Pagani team and the Pirelli team was to develop a new tire spec on top of the, the Pizzero Corsa tire spec that was already fitted into the car in a really short period of time that was um, aimed to enhance the vehicle uh, per performance envelope and of course the driving engagement and emotions. At the end of the day, what we want to achieve is that giving our customer emotions while driving the cars. So uh, the main challenges we, we went through were uh, related to the time plan. First one was we had roughly the, half, half, the time for half the number of uh, uh, joint tests that we were used to do going through traditional methodologies. So it was clear from the very beginning that the only way to reach the goals was through an innovative and more effective uh, approach. Uh, second point was that the mechanical balance of the car and, uh, was already defined and many steps forward through the uh, production, homologations uh, of the vehicle were already taken. So uh, we should keep from the tire development a vehicle development uh, uh, car configuration and, and balance as close as possible to the, to the baseline. And uh, last but not least, uh, we as a Pagani team, we have been working for several years on the offline domain, but have no previous experience on the driving in the loop uh, simulators. Neither Pagani and Pirelli have been working in that uh, uh, fashion before. So it was a really uh, interesting challenge to face in a short period of time, but uh, here to share a somehow positive and successful story. Um, so let's move to the process. All starts here since uh, we have a car that, as you may see in the, in the, on, the, on the picture to the right, has many um, active systems, as many of 
the cars you are working on these days. We have uh, aero, aerodynamic, active aerodynamic, active uh, uh, dampers, we have active differential, ride high control, many different systems on the car, uh, drivability filters, a steering system, many systems that have a, a specific type of calibration that needs to be uh, cloned one-to-one -to, -one to the simulator for, for, for the drivers to recognize the car and for the, the, full, the full session of development to be really uh, successful. So in that side of things uh, was really um, positive having a small team of people working in our side from the electronic and the vehicle dynamics department working hand by hand to get out the, 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 the models updated and um, in a proper fashion to be exported and, and embedded into the into the system for the driver in the loop simulators. So um, second point, of course, to get to communicate the two companies, each one having uh, the proper um, control of the uh, private know-how, but at the same time being able to la collaborate with the full suite of active systems. Uh, in the in the driver in the loop simulator, uh, and in that uh, in that point it was uh, we we had a third actor in the table that was the support from the the, the VA grade people. I would like to say thank you publicly now for for the support and helping into the integration. Uh, that was uh, a challenging part of it. So since we had uh, a vehicle model with all of the active systems embedded in it and calibrated. We have, we have been sharing the models, and the follow step was, okay, so let's characterize the, the, um, the real vehicle with the existing set of tires, so to move forward. So, Emmanuel, if yeah. you want, please. Thank you, Franco. So the activity uh, we did together, involving uh, uh, at the beginning the two testing department, was to do an outdoor uh, characterization of the vehicle uh, in both uh, uh, in both yeah, proving rounds. So uh, one in doing uh, open loop maneuvers and the other one for uh, uh, hard handling maneuvers. So here you can see the level of correlation we achieve uh, on, yeah, on the dynamic platform uh, and on the dry handling circuit. So the dynamic platform was useful to align mainly the uh, linear behavior of the car while the hard handling was, to, uh, was useful to uh, evaluate and align all the rest of the, all the, of the performances. Involving, at the beginning, also the driver who was involved then at the simulator. So uh, from, from this uh, activity, we were able to then uh, have the precise working condition of each corner, so of each tire of the car. And talking with the driver, we had the opportunity to uh, understand where we could improve the performance and where we should focus our internal job as Pirelli. Okay. Uh, as an example here, uh, we select one part of the Nardo handling track uh, and uh, from, from the VA grade simulation, we were able to then uh, have internal target for the FAE simulations. And here you can see what we achieve with the, the first variant we uh, select. Uh, so some deltas. With respect to the reference, so 11% more uh, from content area, 7% more uh, for the rear axle, and a better contact pressure distribution. Um, having all these uh, variants uh, ready from uh, FEA simulations, uh, we were able to then perform uh, some matrix of uh, uh, offline simulation involving front and rear specification, uh, and then pre-select uh, which specification we want to, uh, to then use at the, at the simulator. Having all these kind of uh, yeah, charts 
to better understand and correlate the subjective evaluation with our objective targets. So at the end, <coughs> when we put the driver at the simulator, we have, as an example, some uh, improvement uh, in, in the lap time uh, was not the, the first uh, target of the activity. So then we were able to combine a uh, subjective evaluation. So you can see the radar chart there. And then when the tire were built, we discover, and we are happy, probably also Pagani was happy, to discover that we are completely aligned with what we simulate before going to the track. So on the, on the left side, you can see the subjective evaluation in outdoor. And uh, below, you see the perfect uh, alignment and the ranking between the, the variance between yeah, simulator uh, results and outdoor results. So just one comment here to yeah. uh, contribute to the topic. The third interesting leg of this uh, um, table, the situation was that uh, we worked uh, into correlating each subjective metric to an objective metric. That's something that's absolutely miserable in, a, in an uh, univoc way. And uh, it's not shown here, but uh, since we got to have e uh, one voice for each one of the subjective uh, uh, criteria uh, or the matrix, we, we found also a good correlation with the objective uh, uh, activity. So that was a good way of proving that uh, uh, the methodology was consistent. So I'm just heading forward into the results, but we can yeah. just move there. Okay, so um, the results of the, of the activity uh, that we're pretty much happy with, uh, number one is an an, an integration in between uh, the offline simulator we were working, the methodology we were working into the online work with the driver in the loop, that was pretty much seamless. Uh, the only way to achieve that was because of two companies were working in, a, in the same environment. That makes things pretty much easy. So that was a really um, key point, having a seamless uh, collaboration because of the, the, the two ends of the line talking the same languages and same systems. So uh, second part, and here is just also to, to thank our teams here for Pagani and for Pirelli and the people that have been working on that was the people. Of course, there is no project that can be done without the proper people and the proper motivation on that. So they were agile teams. They were uh, lean management result focus sessions that led to a really uh, effective experience in which both companies put the best out there and uh, get to the concrete results we were looking for. Um, and the interesting thing was that the, the really first session on the driver in the loop simulator that we have ever done with uh, one of our uh, vehicle models for Pagani, at the end of the first day, we had the driver f feeling and saying that the, dr the car was representative of the, the, the vehicle he has been dri driv driving. Uh, just one week uh, before in the same track. So in terms of uh, ramp up to getting into the driver in the loop simulator, that was uh, extremely quick and that's, uh, that was a matter of satisfaction for the, both of the, of the teams. So happy to Yeah. Thank you. So uh, again, going back to the graph that Emanuele was previously gently explaining, uh, we, we found a really good consistency in between the results that we, we've got uh, from the driver in the loop simulator to the same track on the outdoor activities. And that was already uh, good proof uh, of the roughness of the methodology. But more than that, we moved them with the same tires, same vehicle to different tracks. And, and the, the, the subjective and the objective evaluation that we have done there at the very beginning, Nardo circuit, as Andrea, as Emanuele was saying, uh, were repeated also in other Italian circuits we were working in. So that was uh, in terms of consistency and robustness on, on the results. We were pretty much happy about that, and that, that's something that we retain significant. So just uh, to close, and did you all go to the coffee break? Uh, a few numbers to close. So we, we, we started saying that we have just time for half the uh, physical joint test uh, uh, than a normal period of uh, development process would 
allowed to, and in this case, we will handle that uh, and uh, get into a successful uh, development with just half the the, um, the joint test, which means half the, the cost, half the logistics, and of course the tire the tire building yeah, that, um, that were several hundred less than initially foreseen, forecasted. Sorry, and of course that was the main goal for Pagani to get the project done into our uh, internal okay. targets was a saving of uh, development time for more than 30%. That was uh, a really uh, good figure to get. So that's pretty much it from our side. Thank you for, for your attention. And please, here to listen your your questions. <laughs>